What is up YouTube and welcome to this Marvel Cinematic Universe video from a scorching UK. I was going to do a Doom Patrol video on season 2 today, but I absolutely hated every single part of that show and that second season, so I thought it would be best I don't do a video on that. But here we are with a very curious easter egg alluding to a future captain in the MCU. And I'm not talking about Steve Rogers. I'm not talking about Falcon. I'm talking about Captain Britain. Yes, one of the most interesting mythology-wise characters within the Marvel Comics realm. Yes, he could actually already be within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing with notifications on and dropping a like if you did enjoy the video. So funny enough, just this morning I was catching up with Excalibur, which is now part of the X-Men line of comics in Marvel, and the entire run of X-Men has been absolutely top tier ever since its inception last year, with Jonathan Hickman basically ripping up the X-Men and starting all over. Every single title in it is very, very good. Now, one of the characters from Excalibur was actually mentioned in Endgame, and one of the highlights of Endgame was when Steve and Tony went back to the 1970s. This meant we got to see an earlier look at S.H.I.E.L.D. with a period of time which we didn't really get to see. We've seen times in the 50s or the late 40s with Agent Carter, but the 70s, it's not been a time we've actually got to see, especially that Hank Pym used to be Ant-Man within this time frame. We got to see an earlier look at Hank Pym, a history I really hope they expand upon. Now, Steve actually got to see Peggy once more, as we have heard a conversation with another S.H.I.E.L.D. employee and Peggy, saying that Braddock's unit has been stopped by lightning strikes. That's very curious. She says she'll look at the weather projection. Further in the conversation, it's heard that it's not lightning strikes that we're looking at. Now, this could actually be someone quite big. Braddock is, of course, the name of Captain Britain, Brian Braddock who, like I said, has just been recently involved with the new X-Men line, solidify him and really the rest of the Braddocks amongst the X-Men. Of course, the X-Men are coming. We don't know when. We have no word. So we've just got to sit tight there. But it's curious that not only are the comics being tied up, but we're also getting Braddock within the MCU. We know that Marvel actually loved to use the comics as a basis and even write certain books to set up the movies. Now, the biggest one here is, coincidentally, Jonathan Hickman's book, Infinity, which was the second biggest influence on the Infinity War movie behind the comic of that same name. Now, that is really, really curious there. So, he also has a connection to a character who is going to be introduced in the MCU next year in Eternals, and that character is actually the Black Knight. The pair fought to save the other world, which is where Camelot resides, and that's where kind of Merlin and all the Arthurian legend exists, not the Catherine Langford vehicle over on Netflix. Now, they both also actually, funnily enough, later worked with MI13. Now, this, this is a tenuous link here, but bear with me. Now, MI-13 is actually the British paranormal investigation team, similar to Justice League Dark, or really a S.H.I.E.L.D. team that kind of looks into ghosts and stuff. Another member of the British Secret Intelligence Society is actually another character coming into the MCU very, very soon, and that is Shang-Chi. He actually worked with MI-6, and he also has a connection to Captain Britain through the Heroes for Hire. So this gets even more curious. Now, of course, they could have changed some stuff to try and get this all consolidated together and that they all turn out to be a British version of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I think would be really, really cool. Now, the Black Knight also worked for MI-13 
And, well, he has also actually got a relationship with Cersei, who was also an Avenger. Captain Britain, in recent years, also joined the Avengers. So it is all coming together here, which is very, very interesting. And this could simply actually be a British S.H.I.E.L.D. team led by Braddock himself. And possibly the Black Knight has also got involved with that as well as they teamed up to actually save the other world. It would be really fun to see a superhero team based out of the UK and exploring British mythology, which of course has so much depth to it, it's a mystery as to why it is not explored really more. Now, like I said, Captain Britain was actually made a member of the Avengers post-Secret Invasion, and considering that Peggy is actually, you know, British, well, she would of course have ties to the British intelligence community, and they could be working with Braddock, and there could be that sort of post-World War II thing where they all kind of connect together. However, this Braddock could actually be James Braddock, who was the father of Brian, and he was actually sent to Earth-616 to have a child who would become the saviour of the multiverse. So that's why we could be looking at, that's why it could be Braddock himself. Now, what is the lightning? Well, that could be a absolute myriad of different things. I've seen a few people actually say that this could be Storm herself, uh, but I, I'm not too sure because I'm not going to actually put a real stamp on a theory there for that. But with Braddock, I'm pretty much 100% that that is actually Captain Britain himself. Because why else would you use such a well-known name? Of course, the history of the X-Men and Captain Britain is very intertwined. So it could be that this could be their first ever introduction to the X-Men themselves. But I don't really think so. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please drop a like as well if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe with notifications on. As well, if you want to discuss this after this video is, or you've seen the video, come and chat with us in the Discord. There is a link down below. But that's it. I will see you soon, and goodbye.